in fact, uh, I have a lot of students come up to me and ask they want to make Fleur de Lis, which is a very popular uh, insignia, and it's really lends itself well to forge work, but the outside petals people find quite tricky. It's counterintuitive as to how it's made. They try making a point and then start bending around and the thing just gets too long and collapses. So I just want to show you how that's done. I'll just quickly illustrate a fleur de lis if I can draw it upside down here on the anvil and show you kind of what I'm talking about. So specifically what I'm talking about is this piece right here and this shape specifically. It's trying to get that very tight radius forged out that flows nicely and you get this big curve in there. So let's get started. The trick to doing this is working on the horn. You're actually doing the curvature as you're putting the point onto the piece of steel. got the shape, what I'm going to do is flare up that top radius even more. bottom here. I'll make a mirror image to that one and then the center spear shape and that's we'll all get collared together. So if you want to see the rest of it that will be in a future video but that is the tricky bit right there. Hopefully that's helpful.